Assalamu alaikum, this is Afran Jum welcoming you all to evening news. You have just heard the Crown Cement headlines, now let's move on to the details. A writ petition was submitted to the High Court on Monday seeking restrictions on political activities of the Awami League and its 10 allies, while not seeking a blanket ban on the party itself. Coordinators Hasnat Abdullah and Sajis Alam of the anti-discrimination student movement filed the petition with the relevant section of the High Court. An High Court bench comprising Justice Fatima Nazib and Justice Shrikdar Mohammad Mahmudur Rajib is expected to hear the petition shortly. Advocate Hasanul Karim, who represented the petitioners, said that he the writ aims to prevent Awami League leaders from engaging to political activities. He said that the move is intended to upholding public interest amid ongoing political developments. Then this latest petition follows a prior application filed in August, which called for a full ban on the Awami League, but it was subsequently rejected by a High Court dual bench headed by Justice A.K.M. Asaduzzaman on September 1st. Encouraging people to submit e-return and pay income tax online, Chief Advisor Professor Mohammed Yunus on Monday said tax paid by the people was the main driver of the country's economy. The experiences of submitting income tax return become smooth and hassle-free from now on, he said in a message. The chief advisor also urged all to show their relatives, neighbors and friends how they too can submit their income tax online. Meanwhile, Dr. Yunus asked Saudi Arabia to convey his request to the Saudi government for depositing funds in Bangladesh's central bank to boost liquidity support as part of the economic cooperation, saying it will be a wonderful gesture to the interim government. The chief advisor made the call when Saudi ambassador to Bangladesh, S.I. Yusuf S.I. Al Duhailan, paid a curtsy call on him at his office in Tejgar, Dhaka. Ambassador Al Duhailan said his country is eager to invest more in Bangladesh and sought support from the office of the chief advisor. Nepalese ambassador to Bangladesh, Kanshyam Bhandari, on Monday met BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alamgir and discussed bilateral issues and the revival of SARC to enhance regional cooperation. The hour-long meeting, which began around 10.30 a.m., was held at the BNP chairperson's Gulshan office in the capital. After the meeting, Amir Khosru briefed reporters on the outcomes of the meeting. They discussed various issues related to the bilateral interest regional cooperation and potentials, he said. Kosru mentioned that they discussed with the Nepalese ambassador on how to utilize SARC for regional development, people-to-people -people relations and enhancing connectivity and economic progress in South Asia. The government has asked three ministries and their subordinate bodies to avoid the use of air conditioners as much as possible for four months from November 2024 to February 2025 during the winter. The ministries are the Ministry of Power, Energy and Mineral Resources, the Ministry of Road Transport and Bridges and the Ministry of Railways. Advisor of the Interim Government for these ministries, Mohammad Fauzul Kabir Khan, issued a directive in this regard on Monday. It said that there is shortage of electricity supply in the country and this step will help increase the supply of electricity for irrigation, increase production of fertilizer and raise gas supply to the industries. And that's all from the newsroom for now. To know updates, videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntvbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates over NTV's all popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shondhar Khabur, will be aired in Bangladesh at 7.30pm. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.